Hey everyone, welcome back to React course. In this lecture, we are working with the JSX properties. As you know, when you create an element, you can specify properties to that element using keys and value pair. The properties are just like HTML attribute. You can specify key and value pair inside the JSX tag to define HTML attribute and React component properties. This is similar to the attribute syntax in HTML. In other words, if you need to pass properties, write them in JSX as you would in normal HTML. Also, you render standard HTML attributes by setting element properties. So, let's consider the following example. So, if you wanted to create a simple anchor tag with href attribute, then you can do that using the create element method like this. So, using the create element method, you can create a simple anchor tag with the attribute href and specify some text to the anchor tag. Using hard-coded values for attribute isn't flexible. If you want to reuse the link component, then the href must change to reflect a different address each time. This is called dynamic setting values versus hard-coded them. So next, we will go step further and consider the component that can use dynamic generated values for attributes. To specify dynamic properties to your component, you can use component property. All you need to do is to use curly braces inside angle bracket to pass dynamic values of properties to elements. For example, if you wanted to create an anchor tag and specify href, title and target property to the anchor tag, the href and target property must be different and not hard-coded. Then the href and the target property must be a dynamic value and not hard-coded. So I will just create a component to render an anchor tag using a property URL, label and target. So I will just create a simple anchor tag with href, title and target property first and then we'll show you how to create a property using JSX, right? So I will just create a simple anchor tag here. So right now we have a simple division tag with the ID container and we'll just select this division tag using get element by ID method and store in the container variable, right? Just after that here, I just wanted to create a component. So I will just say component here and I will say class share and we will just extend this class with react.component, right? Now, I just wanted to call the render method first because it is necessary to call render method and then just say return. And what I wanted to return is, I wanted to return a division tag with an anchor tag with its attributes. So I will just say parenthesis here and in this parenthesis I will just create a division tag and just close this division tag and here I will just say a which is my anchor tag and specify href attribute and the value is gonna be my website name. So I will just say http www.dailywebtuition.com and the second attribute we will specifying is target property. So I will just say blank here. And the third attribute is title. And the title is gonna be my site. And just close this ankle bracket, just close this anchor tag and specify text, visit website, right? Now, I just wanted to create a render method to render this component in the UI. So I will just go here and say render UI and just say react dome dot render and call the share component, right? So I will just specify angle bracket and just say share here, right? and just wanted to append this component in the container. I will just save this document and just execute, right? So you will get your link on the document. I will just go to inspect and just see my attributes. So I will just click on the body, 
the division tag and the div right so this is your attribute this is your href link the target property and the title right now when you look at the code the attribute are hard coded it means if you wanted to reuse the link component then the href must change to reflect the different address each time now to specify dynamic property to the component you can use component property so i will just show you how you can specify attribute value dynamically right to specify dynamic value to the attribute i will just get rid of these hard coded values so i will just get rid of this link and here i will specify curly braces you know that you can use this curly braces to output the variable data you can use this curly braces to execute javascript code also so i will just say here this dot property and specify my property name so i will just say url here right so here oops i just wanted to delete this now here we'll just create the url property to the component class right just after that i will just create a title property also so i will just remove this hard coded value specify curly braces and say this dot property dot label right so here we have two properties url and the label when you execute this you will get nothing because we did not specify any data to the dynamic values but where the data is coming from the data is coming from the instance of a component when you create a component instance in the render method when you specify component in the render method the instance of a component will have been created and the properties initialized now you need to specify values to these dynamic properties to do that here we have an instance of a class right so this is the instance of a class and we need to specify values to these properties so i will just say here url equal to and specify value right so i will just create a variable so i will just say here let address and specify hard coded value so i will just say http www dot daily web tuition.com and just oops and just create another variable to lb and specify my site right now i will just use this variable here so i will just specify this value to this property so I will just say curly braces here and say address to specify second property value I will just say here label is equal to and in the curly braces I will say LB right and save my document so when you execute this you will get your attributes right so this is your href attribute this is target property and this is my title right so now you can specify dynamic data to your component but manually specifying every property one by one is very complicated what if you want to specify different properties to the anchor tag no matter what the properties are there you don't want to pass each property individually because that is more code the more code will create complication don't pass the properties individually when your intention is to pass all of them. JSX offer a spread operator. Using the spread operator, you can specify multiple properties no matter what the properties are. To specify multiple properties using the spread operator, you don't need to manually specify any property to the anchor tag. So I will just get rid of this statement. And here, we just need to specify only one single spread operator property so i will just specify curly braces here and just specify spread operator this dot property right so here we have our spread operator right 
Now here I just wanted to call the property in the text. You can use these properties in the text also. So if I just remove this website text and say here this dot property dot label then the label text will display here right now I just wanted to remove this code and here I will just specify a simple HTML like attributes here so I will just say href here and the value is coming from the address variable and the label oops and the label is equal to lb we'll just initialize the label property and just after that i will just say id and the id gonna be my link and the class is gonna be redirect right so you can specify multiple properties to this component right using this spread operator you can specify multiple properties to this component and you will get your anchor tag over here right so here we have href attribute the label attribute the id and the class redirect right so using the spread operator you can specify different properties on the go you don't need to manually specify properties in the component and then specify in the react dom.render method that's it i hope you understand this lecture if you have any question you can ask me in the comment answering the question specified in the comment will definitely help you to understand this topic more easily that is all for now we will see you in the next lecture.